Welcome to the lesson on matplotlib. In this lesson, we would be looking at this really powerful and cool data visualization package. Uh, this package allows you to create a number of uh, diagrams like graphs, charts, etc. You can interact with this uh, package using the uh, IPython console. So IPython and matplotlib allows you to create you know, graphs and charts in an interactive manner. So uh, let's uh, take a look at this really powerful package. In order to use stuff from this package, you would import matplotlib.pyplot. So matplotlib.pyplot, the pyplot function is where all the cool stuff for matplotlib lies. Uh, or the various methods for plotting graphs and charts, they are in the pyplot function. So I would import matplotlib.pyplot and I would import it as pyplot, plt. So importing uh, plt, uh, I mean importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt is a convention followed in the data science community. So this is uh, successful. I would also import uh, numpy because we would be using numpy for or the numpy data structures so again i would import numpy as np as we have discussed previously the pyplot package is what has the really cool uh, plotting functions or the functions to draw different kinds of charts you can take a look at different stuff you can do with the pyplot function in the pyplot documentation so uh, there are different kinds of graphs and charts you can uh, draw the link to the documentation would be provided in the resources tab so go ahead and take a look at the different charts you can draw but for this unit i would be talking about the plot function but for any other function uh, it works basically the same so you can take a look at the various other functions in the documentation let's take a look at the plot function so let's plot a basic graph using the plot function so i say plt dot plot and i plot this array 100 200 300 400 500 so let me plot this array uh, oops. now you can see that we have a new figure which is created so this is the new figure we have and since you're using the IPython console, you can interact with the plots. So the array you try to plot is plotted along the Y axis and along the X axis, there is a system generated uh, list of values. So anytime you pass just one array, it is gonna be plotted along the Y axis. Now let's have a separate section where I'm trying to plot on both axes. So uh, the argument I pass in first would be my x-axis and then the argument I pass in after that would be my y-axis. So let me plot ten, twenty, thirty on the x-axis and hundred 200, 300 on the y-axis. So this is the new plot which we have. We have uh, 10, 20, 30 on the x-axis and 100 uh, to 300 on the y-axis. Uh, also you saw that I've used the figure command. So this is for creating new figures and I will talk more about it in uh, later on th in this video. So at the moment, just take it that I'm creating a new figure using the figure command uh, and uh, I will talk more about it in, uh, in a bit. So using the plot function, I can also specify parameters to change the formatting of the plots. So let's uh, do that. So I can specify format groups. So essentially these format groups have two components. They have uh, a property which determines the kind of line which is being, uh, which is gonna be used or the kind of marker which is gonna be used. So you can have square markers, circular markers or uh, 
line joining all the points or dashed markers or stuff like that and the other property would uh, determine the color so it uh, so first to determine the color you want to say uh, say i want a red colored uh, formatting and i want circular marker so i can do that so now my graph has a uh, red colored circular markers more on this can be found in the pyplot documentation uh, under the plot function so uh, a link a separate link for this would be given in the resources again um, so these are the different kinds of uh, marker shapes which are possible so you can have a solid line or a dashed line or a dash dot line and there are so many of these so you can choose from any of these uh, and these are the colors which are possible like blue green red uh, etc so you can choose from any of these uh, so go ahead and create colorful and well formatted plots so the other thing you can do is you can specify properties so here i would specify the line width so i just specify the line width parameter and give it a value of say 5.0 uh, assuming that i want to have a thick line and i'm not uh, including the ro parameter because i want a line so this is a new plot i have so this is like a thick line so the list of all the parameters uh, that can be passed uh, is also there in the same documentation so you can go and uh, check that you have the alpha you have animated you have stuff about aliasing you have stuff about axis so go ahead and uh, check those out and uh, there are similar properties for the different plots we have so i have shown you stuff for the plot method so if you are trying to create different kinds of plots like histograms or pie diagrams so they would have similar properties you should go and check them out uh, before you try to uh, create the plots so uh, do check out the documentation let's take a look at how you can give labels to the axes or uh, give uh, title names or uh, change the axis values or the starting and ending point of the axis or have grids and uh, modifications like that so let's create a new figure so this is the new figure i have uh, also let's plot a graph So this is a graph I have now. Uh, now if I want to add a label to the x axis, I can use the x label command uh, from the PLT. So I just pass in whatever x axis label I want. So let me just call it x axis for now. So I can also uh, add a command for the y axis in a similar way and call it y axis. So this, so now I have the x-axis and y-axis uh, axis labeled. I can also give a name to the figure or a title to the figure and using the title command. Now I have a title to the figure which was given by the plt.title command. I can uh, change the values of the axes or the starting and ending point of the axes. So I can have uh, use the axis uh, method for that so, uh, so while uh, passing the values i would pass a list of values in the list of values i would first pass the uh, lower x value say i want it to be 1 and then i would pass the higher x value say i want it to be 11 then i pass the lower y value say i want it to be 2 and the higher y value i want it to be 12 so uh, it is uh, lower x value higher x value lower y value and higher y value now if you look at the axis you can see that the origin is 1 comma 2 though the one is not specified but it is uh, this point on the x axis is 1 and that on the y axis is 2 so the y axis is now 2 to 12 and the x axis is 1 to 11 the 11 is not written but then this point is 11 so now we have managed to change uh, the uh, starting and ending point of the axis 
the other thing you can do is add grid or remove grids so you can call the grid method and pass true or false value to it if you pass true uh, you will get grids on the graph so now the graph has these grids and so if you want to remove the grid you can simply pass false value to the same method so i pass false so now the grids So now the grids have been removed. There are no grids on the screen. So uh, this is how you uh, modify the label uh, for the x and y axis, change the axis values, and uh, add a title uh, toggle between the grids. I mean, so, so this. Uh, So this is how you uh, modify the labels on the axes or add titles or uh, switch the grid on or off or uh, change the axis values. So this is the other stuff you can do with Matplotlib.